Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Live Noting. In this episode, we're gonna try to recreate this uh, 2D character. I actually made it using grease pencil, and currently it's like a, it's kind of half half done where I can just uh, randomly move the, the legs like that. So it's pretty simple one, uh, probably similar to before, except that I think I, I want to be able to control all this grease pencil inside Spreadshop. And all these uh, grease pencil strokes, whether they're gonna be like a uh, 2D or gonna be 3D, each and separate, uh, each and every part should be able to be controlled separately. So that's kind of the idea. Maybe currently it's like still like uh, like a 2D spider, but I think this is interesting to share. So I'll give it give it a try. I'll make it again from scratch, but I know that this is that there's like a repeat of process here that I can simply turn into like a monad maybe I'll I'll do that so let's start from scratch um, switch to the top view we're gonna just make a single character instead of many many characters um, one character with all the body parts and legs parts all separated so maybe this is interesting um, I'll call this procedural grid pencil spider demo Uh, let's start with a simple body. Like that. Actually, I'm gonna start uh, to give it a, some kind of color to make it more interesting. So, green spider body. I'll give it a this layer. I'll call it body. And quickly, I'll make the leg part. So, this is a color for the leg. And one, so one layer for each leg. And I'll have a uh, color for the eye. Just gonna make like a one eyeballs to make it easy. So, it's the eyeball, give it a color yellow maybe, and we're gonna make the pupil in the middle. Maybe at some point we're gonna animate the eyeball as well. So this is the eyeball, and new layer for the pupil. I pupil. I pupil give it a maybe blue color. Blue eye spider. Um, maybe give it a nice. Uh, uh, let me think. Color like this. Just like a white color there, and maybe actually it needs a black as well. With the black bit and the eye, so it looks more interesting. So that's the eye pupil is all in one one layer. Of course, the easiest to animate it is to use a locator. Transparent the eye pupil. So that's pretty cool. Um, later on, of course, all these layers can be parented into an empty. Um, although I'm still thinking how to animate this, whether we can rig everything inside Spreadshop maybe or something, but. Let's deal with the leg first. In Spreadshop, we can actually um, control the legs and then kind of output the grease pencil back into 3D. Um, but I will actually make the strokes into like a points and then I want to output uh, like a curve. So let's do that. Oops. 
pretty few. Spread job and this is spider in. I'm gonna use oh actually by the way the sh shift A now has this a uh, very nice menu it used to be control space but now we can access it just shift A we get this very nice menu for each and every nodes in Spreadshop we can also search it um, object ID selector and we're gonna work with the grease pencil we have one grease pencil data we have many layers. We're gonna deal with all these six legs. I should name it, I think. Should name it probably at some point. Uh, this one's gonna output vertices by default, you know, the points of the grease pencil, which is not very nice like that. We need to resample it. Vector interpolation. And uh, resample this guy. Viewer range vector. Uh, range float count 0 to 1 and I'll, I'll give you like a 10 10 points per leg and points itself is just not enough so we're gonna need UV connections in order to turn it into uh, like a polyline you know like this line like that and with the line like that you can easily output it as a curve using polyline viewer or skin modifier skin measure whichever you like if we are doing it like this let's say you are using skin measure you can actually get a nice like a thickness skin measure is actually not bad if you like to work with polygon um, let's see I think it's pretty good like that with the radius, we can control the the thickness of this guy. If we use a um, range float, maybe from two to one, step zero point one. Actually, that should be. It might work. So something like that. No. But of course you can make it better. But that's that's give a thickness for our spider legs, and now it's actually a, like a real solid object. You can also use the polyline viewer. It's up to you. Let's use skin measure actually. Now, leg like this. Um, it's okay but you probably want to animate it at some point so I will add a rotate rotation here so this you know this vertices makes our our leg right using rotation node we can simply rotate it it's pretty easy um, you just need to provide vector in for the axis the axis can use the this uh, axis thing zero zero one means like uh, that's gonna be the Z axis and we just need to provide the center the center we can actually use this thing there's a new thing in Spreadshop if you use the vector in we have this 3d cursor button now you can actually you know this 3d cursor thing we can just place it near the the pivot of the leg and plug this into the center now get the 3d cursor and you can now rotate the leg it's pretty cool right i think that's uh, really really cool it's pretty easy to do as well now at this point it's really totally up to you how you want to work with it for every legs you need to do the same thing it's probably a good idea to just turn this into a monad um, not gonna do that now I'm just gonna duplicate so duplicate and we're gonna work with the next part of the grease pencil this guy the legs if this is for the other leg the output actually needs a need a new name or something
this should be like leg uh, right leg two this one uh, right leg one there you go so everything is working I'm gonna duplicate all these and duplicate it again it's for all the leg it's gonna be cleaner if you turn it into monad so we just need to change the name here right leg number three uh, zero one this is number three this is gonna be left leg one left leg two left leg three Select all these. It's better to tidy up. A, B, and track. So it's the left leg. One, two, three. Okay. pretty simple at this stage and once we're done with it we need to actually assign the pivot for every leg because we know that this one is working that's the first leg for the second leg this uh, the pivot should be around here so we just click there test it seems to be working seems like we have extra leg by mistake And the next leg, this guy, get it, cool, and let's work with the left leg, this guy right here, get it, so that's working. Next leg. Test it. And one more leg. Cool, now it's working. So now we kind of have our our setup here. Um, I think the best way to do this, if you want to be like a ideally every legs will be um, bind it to like a join or bones in blender and then connect it to the body currently it's like semi um, it's like not 3d not 2d it's like a uh, still some part is still just grease pencil but I think it's kind of neat um, so this is the empty for the for the people people controller probably duplicates this empty and this is gonna be for the body body controller yeah I don't like to parent the legs directly but uh, let me think for now I think the body controller so this body can be connected to the body controller same with the eyeball parented to the body controller so we can have that the pupil controller can go under body controller so now we have this control and then the leg part I don't know maybe I should just if I just parent it this guy into the body Oops. yeah for now that might be 
kind of okay. Okay, so that's a little bit cleaner. Somehow the node viewer can be kind of slow. So now we have like a real leg. I guess the body can be turned into 3D as well and then the eyeballs. For now, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this uh, setup right here. Um, yeah, I guess, uh, I guess we can leave it there for now. Um, Oh, actually with the legs um, if you want to animate the angle you can simply use the uh, oh actually we just get a it's a funny p4 thing funny error is happening uh, yeah I realize I need to take care of the p4 as well so I can't just animate it like this so maybe have to turn it into a real spider like uh, everything needs to be 3d gonna deal with that but anyway that's uh, that's our setup if you want to animate the angle you can use uh, just random random number generator between minus minus 15 and 15 and it's gonna create this kind of jerky motion so that's will that's how I animate the spider um, yeah but that's anyway that's the whole process uh, it's kind of work in progress if you have any question feedbacks uh, let me know what you think and i guess i'll see you in the next video thank you